Hi, my name is Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so I bought this long exposure ND2000 neutral filter and it's for a DJI Mavic 2 Pro uh, and it's made by Freewell and it cost about £23 delivered and I will uh, give a link in the description to this video. But it's designed to sit on the front of uh, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone and it kind of clips on. I'm interested in it for its intense uh, 11 stop neutral filtering of light and I'm going to open this up have a look at it and I am going to test it with an application uh, called Strobify and I've got it here on an old um, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and this is just going to give me a chance to pulse the light and simulate a bright light source um, and we'll see uh, if we can still see it through this um, uh, filter so uh, I'm going to first open this up. So I'll spare you the plastic wrap there. It's got like a, a rip tab along the top here. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> the answer is not very well. <laughs> uh, I will see you in a little while. There we go. Put it from the right end. So it's obviously designed not to be returned. Okay, so yeah, it's actually smaller than I thought it is. That's a good thing. Um, and it's in a nice protective case. Uh, I'm going to not treat to this very well, I don't think. Um, but we shall see. So there we go. That's the little thing. And you can see it's uh, about the size of a 35mm um, film. The glass is uh, pretty thin, which is good. I hope I can either score a piece off or I can use a tile drill to take a segment out so that I can put this over this endoscope like this. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is use Strobify. So I'm going to put that down over there on the case. Now I'll put it on this little stand here. It's just a little piece of free software. And I was going to use this for experiments um, use it on the Omar experiments to freeze in motion the um, the blades in the vibrator. Uh, however, in testing this with the fan before I went, it, it wasn't really reliable enough. But I think it's going to be good enough for what we need to do here. And so this is. A, so you can see that that is strobing. That's probably going to be unpleasantly bright. So I'm going to stick that on there like so. There we go. And let's see if we can see what this does on our Mavic here. Oh, that's very nice, isn't it? Yes, that's rather nice, isn't it? Bring that right into the lens here. You can see the strobe isn't quite perfect here. You can see the uh, shutter shearing there. Oh, look at that. Okay, I think this is going to be pretty good for what we wanted. Well, I thought it was going to be too dark, but I expect that our supernova plasma is going to be super duper bright. And this will probably do the job we want it to. Now, if I do get a tile drill and have a go at this, I'm going to have several attempts at uh, cutting it out, I guess. Even if I crack it, I'll be able to maybe use uh, the polishing drill that I bought also. But that is rather nice, I have to say. So there we go. So again, the, the purpose of this is to stick this in front of, oh, not, not a USB connector, <laughs> this. Actually what you can see up there is that that's a reflection of the UV, not the UV lights, the fluorescent lights in here. It's quite funky isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so the camera's going to go with this in front and that is going to go into the hole of the reactor. So thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.